a weird burp. Yeah, but you're not going to be passing gas while we uh, oh. film. Well, I don't I know. That was a burp. <laughs> Well, you're you're one to be the the windbreaker of the family. <laughs> you thought it was Isaac earlier, and that was actually <laughs> that was actually me. You know, and, you know, I I try not to lie about that, but it's kind of hard not I to. Make me laugh when I'm trying to cough. And this even has really good zoom. I can see your I can see your nose. Oh really? Yeah, it's really up close too. <laughs> see your eyes too. Holy crap! You're not recording it, are you? No. Oh. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so are you ready? I want to see what it looks like. Well, you can see. Just, all you gotta do is just hold it on to it. So I can talk about it. I am actually recording though. <laughs> what? Yeah. You were recording me? No, I just pressed the record button afterwards. I hope so. <laughs> anyway, looks, uh, anyway. Looks like Chubbs is sleeping there. Okay. Now, do you see me really good now? Because this is a different camera than the flip video camera. I hope you know that. The the uh, the good thing about this camera is that actually the screen is a lot bigger, so you can see everything. Okay. Yeah, I, I can okay. see your head. I can see your hand going way, 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 way. Okay. You got a whole bunch of hair. Yeah. And I can see your. Looks like you're starting to grow a beer again. Beer? Or beard? beard. <laughs> Whatever. Well, hello, everybody. That's his mom. Being a <coughs> big goofy as usual, you know. He thinks he's the comedian <laughs> of the family. And what? Yeah, well, you, you think you're the comedian <laughs> of the family. You think that you can make everybody laugh and everybody else has no sense of humor, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> That's right. You're shaking the camera now. Somebody's watching the camera and... <laughs> I'm laughing at you because of, that's why it's shaking. Yeah, okay. Well, what I should actually do is use my little tripod, but I figure I'd just have you hold the camera for me. So if anything happens where it runs low on battery or anything, you just let me know. Yeah. You can see the battery thing on the side, can't you? Hmm? Can you see the battery thing on the side? Yes, that green okay. thing. That's okay. If it turns red or at all, like, like completely red, mm -hmm. then let me know. All right, everybody, as I promised yesterday, I was going to make a special DVD update. Now, I'm not going to show you everything that I got right now because that just take too long. And even though I got more memory in my car, you know, my camera now, I can record up a two-hour video if I wanted to, but I don't want to bore you guys for too much, for too long. But I will say that I got mom as a camera person for right now, so she's holding the camera. Now, I don't know if you guys are aware, but... If you have a Walmart where you're, uh, if you live close to Walmart, at least the Walmart that I went to, the Thief River Falls Walmart, uh, they had some good deals. Stuff that I was not originally planning on buying, but I only did it because it was a hell of a deal. And what am I talking about? Well, a long time ago, I think Walmart ordered too many copies. Way too many copies of, of uh, Transformers uh, 1 and 2. You know, everybody likes Transformers. Nobody has nothing negative to say about Transformers, right? Mom likes Transformers. Don't you, Mom? Mm -hmm. What do you like about Transformers? You've seen them all. Do you think they're all good, or do you think mm -hmm. that they're, they could have been better? Or? Yeah. Why are you telling me? You got the I got a sore throat, so it's... Oh, that's yeah, why. yeah. When the camera turns on, you got a sore throat, but when the camera's on... <laughs> no, I, ha I have a sore throat. That's probably why I've been coughing off and on. How do these look at HD? Pretty oh, good. Well, anyway, the reason why I got Transformers on Blu-ray was, no, I'm not a fool. Some people think that these, you know, there, there's some people that have a lot of negative things to say about Transformers. And, and I'm not a huge Transformer fan, but I, I am definitely somebody who actually appreciates the film, all three of them. Not because Megan Fox or it has nothing to do with the sexy women that everybody likes to see. What do you think oh, really? That? Sexy? Yeah. You know, oh, everybody, wow. Everybody, they think Transformers, are, they, they, they look at it for sex appeal. It's like, what the hell? What? It's Transformers uh, is about mm, robots. I don't think so. Are you guys getting horny over the robots, or are you guys getting horny over the people that are in it? <laughs> oh, my goodness. They can't just watch a movie and understand the concept of what it is. Anyway, <coughs> Walmart ordered too much, and they've been trying so hard to sell them, just like they do everything else. 
And what happened was they just ordered way too much. So when I went to Walmart yesterday, they went and had I think a clearance uh like a box or something like that or like a clearance uh you know like that five dollar DVD uh box or whatever or bin like a bin kind of thing where they had a lot of different things for for five dollars but the two biggest things that they're trying to get rid of which now they did, now they will be I'm pretty sure they'll probably be sold out here soon that I got for five dollars together or a piece anyway this one was the Transformers and Transformers 2 uh, box set. And normally, how much do you think, Mom, how much do you think a person would pay for something like this? 30 bucks. About 30 bucks, you know, sure. Because, it, well, I mean, it looks nice. And it's in high def and everything, you know. Same with the DVDs. But I paid $5 for this. Really? $5 for this. And I mm -hmm. thought I was, you know, I didn't believe it at first when I, when I said that uh, on, the, on the bin, on the side of the bin, $5. So I went and got it scanned or whatever, and it said $5. I was just like, you got to be kidding me. So I went and got, well, I don't want to say too much, but I, I won't say anything because I, I don't want to ruin <laughs> I, don't wanna, I think you already did. I don't want to ruin, well, I don't think that. I think you already ruined your, no, whatever you're going to say. I, I, well, anyway, I was going to say something, but I, certain. Okay, yeah, whatever. Anyway, whatever. Anyway, I anyway got this for five dollars, and it's like it's a both the special editions of the Transformers <laughs> one and two, and too bad it could come with the third one. That'd be a, even an extra nice, but uh, yeah. So if you got a Blu-ray player, and who knows, maybe the Walmart over there does carry some too. And then the other one that they carried for five dollars, which is another one they were trying to get rid of, was the latest Star Trek. Mom likes this one. She's she's, she's Gaga over the Star Trek, you know. Maybe eventually, because I know they have the original series on, you know, on Blu-ray too. So, but you guys don't have a Blu-ray player. I wish you did. But I do though. So it'll it'll, it'll be nice to watch it in full. Because I watched this in theaters back with my old girlfriend. You know, back in 2009. And then I bought mom this DVD version for, I think when it first came out or whatever. Is it? I don't know if there's a special. I think it was a special edition anyway that I bought. And this is the Blu-ray version of it. And it was only five dollars. A hell of a steal, I think. So that's what happened yesterday. And I got a few other things for, well, we'll say for gifts for other people, not for me, though. Know, so that's why I'm not going to show up. The other things that I kind of purchased, you know, my parents, you know, love it when I get a package in the mail. They never give me a bad time about anything. They always support them, <laughs> and, you know. They always say, that's great. You buy what you want to buy. It's your money. It's no big deal, right? Yeah, whatever. Parents get all pissed off. But you know what? I don't really care. You know? <laughs> so I'm getting mad. You know? Right, Mom? So you get mm -hmm. mad. I'm doing what I want with my money. I'm 28 years old and I have every right to do what I want. You're sure you're 28? Why, do I act like I'm 16 or, or act like I'm 14 and I'd be half the 28? <laughs> we never know. Half my age, anyway. We never know. Anyway, I, I recently got a few things in the mail. Uh, well, a few TNA DVDs, because I'm trying to watch a lot of old classic TNA pay-per-views or whatever, because they're real cheap, too, because they're just trying to get rid of them. But I got a special edition of Space Jam. You remember this movie at all, Mom? Space Jam? Does it ring a bell? Michael Jordan? Oh, yeah. <coughs> I don't know yeah. Else as you see it, but anyway, they finally, well, they've came out with a special edition for a while, but... This one is actually in widescreen, and and it just has all the special features, in it and I like the packaging. So, this mm -hmm. one was good. Uh, Space Jam. A couple other ones that I want to show. Uh, this one here, I'm also, one thing about me that you want to know. Let's, okay. One thing about me that you should know is I, I really like Roseanne. And yes, I'm mad enough to say I like Roseanne. Without uh, getting dumped by any, every girl that probably sees this video, right? Anyway... Mm -hmm. Uh, she did a movie back in 1991 with uh, Tom Arnold. I don't know, Bobby, you ever seen this one before? Called Backfield in Motion. She's like no. a football player. Or she's no. Not really a football player, but she's just kind of, I don't know, she's trying to get her kids in football or something like that. And I haven't seen it yet, but it looked good. It was only $10 from Amazon. It's a hard to find, probably rarely out of print movie because, you know, it was hard to find. I had to really search, you know. So I knew she did a a few movies during the days of the Roseanne series or whatever, so called Back to the Emotion. And the last
last one. Mom will like this one. I don't think I think Dad would like this one too. To add to my already, uh, well, this is just volume five. So already to my other four volumes that I have. This is volume five of the Three Stooges collection. It goes from 1946 to 1948, and it has the last ten. I wasn't gonna get it, but I thought, well, the last ten. Uh, Episodes with Curly and then the first 15 with Shemp. So, if you like black and white TV, well, there you go. So, other than that, you know, that, there's a lot more that I, I could show, but like I said, I, you know, I'd have to really organize it and whatever, and maybe eventually I'll show more. But I just want, since I got the camera, and since Mom's nice enough to be the camera person for today, you know, now she can see me in a bigger screen rather than a smaller screen. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I just figure, what the heck. It's a, it might be jumpy because I've been coughing off and on. Oh, it's okay. Well, I just want to do this just because I've, I haven't done a DVD update. And this would be the first time I ever did a DVD update in HD, so <coughs> so I'm pretty happy about everything, getting a new camera and whatnot. And, yeah, other than that, this will probably be the last video I do for a while. I will start doing some videos on my other channel, but I have to think of some ideas. I do want to do make a video for Christmas, though. Like last year we did that Sausage Family Christmas. So I might do one this year too maybe. We'll see. We'll see if everybody allows me to anyway. Last year I got in trouble because nobody wanted me to. Everybody got upset because I brought the old flip camera with. So like I don't want my Christmas to be broadcasting on the internet. So anyway. Let's look at mom here. Oh great. <laughs> what? Hi. Mom's good luck no, to her. Go, go. Okay well anyway. That's all I wanted to show, and, uh, yeah. So, I'm Sean Slauson, a.k.a. Frankie Slauson, and, uh, we'll see you guys later. Uh, if I don't see you soon, then, uh, we'll probably do something for Christmas, hopefully. Anyway, bye-bye.